Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm excited about the constant buzz from Nikon. Nikon released new firmware for the Z cameras yesterday. There is a link for my video on the release of the firmware. And today, Nikon released teaser trailer number three. It's 30 seconds. Nikon has made every week of October a talking point on social media. They're literally becoming the straw that stirs a drink. They're trying to mimic the original Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, by coming up with hit after hit in October. While we are talking about hits, let's hit this introduction. Welcome back. My name is Vaughn. I've created multiple videos on the teaser trailers for the Nikon Z9. Some of the trailers were interesting, but not mind blowing. Teaser trailer number three got my attention. The athletes in action with a box hovering over their head, throw in motorcycles and fast moving cars being tracked by this box that's not leaving them bye bye. And you have a potential winner from Nikon. Let's explore this teaser trailer. I will give my comments and throw in observations from other commenters. Let's start with the athletes in motion. The video on the athletes with the box staying focused on their eye is a good start. My hope this is not another bait and switch move to get our attention. I want to see actual video of the Z9 tracking an athlete across the field for a few minutes, not a few seconds. My Nikon Z62 can do eye tracking on moving objects for a few seconds before it gets bored and does whatever it wants to. I was waiting on a major upgrade to eye and animal tracking and I received firmware upgrade 1.30. A commenter even caught me thinking about a major update. I mistakenly said 1.30 was a major update. My bad. Like always, please leave those comments and hit that like button. Let's talk about that vehicle tracking. That was phenomenal. Seeing our flagship camera from Nikon do what Canon and Sony have been doing all along with the R5 and the A1. Now with vehicle tracking, users transitioning away from their D line of cameras can use the Nikon Z9 to turn off that dynamic area autofocus or auto area autofocus mode that they're so used to for many years. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hope users don't have to switch modes again. Don't act like you haven't switched back to the old ways when you needed to dependably nail a shot. Another feature that amazed me was the machine gun shorter noise. Was that electronically produced or was that the sound of a physical shutter? Also, dppreview.com site was able to calculate that the Nikon Z9 should shoot at 20 frames per second from the audio in the teaser trailer. After watching this trailer, I'm excited about Nikon's future. I've been part of the Nikon future for the past eight years. But one thing I've learned is a thing called patience. Patience helps you realize that change is inevitable. And if you wait long enough, you will get what you want. I've watched these teaser videos with all Nikon users and the distractors. My patience leads me to believe Nikon has created a real tour de force with the Nikon Z9. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.